Good morning, kindergartners. This is Mrs. Meyer, and I am a kindergarten teacher at Burnett Creek, right here. And um, if you will be coming to Burnett Creek in August, this is your school. And it's right behind me. They're working, so that's what that van is. Um, but I just wanted to show you what the school looks like where you'll be attending. And kindergarten rooms are down there on that end, right down there. Um, unfortunately, I cannot take you inside and show you the classrooms because um, they are cleaning them and so they are all empty right now and they don't have anything in them. Um, so it really wouldn't give you a good idea of what the classroom will look like. But if you will be going to Burnett Creek, this is your school and we are so excited to have you. Hi, we are now in the corner of a classroom um, in Burnett Creek. And we are going to start off by reading a book. And while you read this book, I want you to pretend like you are in the classroom. So I want you to find a spot and sit crisscross applesauce with your hands in your lap. And the best way for you to really be able to listen to the story is to have your hands in your lap so you're not touching anyone else or playing with anything like your shoestrings or anything like that. Your eyes are forward on me your ears are listening, and your body is still. So let's practice that while we listen to the story, A New Friend for Sparkle. All right, this is written by Amy Young. This is the front of the book, the back of the book. We call this the spine. And this is the title, and A New Friend for Sparkle. Lucy put food in Sparkle's bowl. She said, my friend Cole is coming over today. You'll like him. He's a lot of fun. I don't think he's ever met a unicorn before. When Cole got there, he said, hi Lucy, what a cool goat. What's his name? Lucy said, he is not a goat, he's a unicorn. And his name is Sparkle. Oh. Sorry, Sparkle. Lucy, look what I brought. Yay, and here are my toys. Lucy and Cole started to play. They forgot that Sparkle was even there. Sparkle doesn't look very happy. He had to remind them. Sparkle, what are you doing? Hey, said Lucy, you ruined my ball. That is enough. You go sit over there until you can play nicely. Sparkle sat and moped. Lucy and Cole played some more. Then Cole took out his drum. Bang, bang, bang. Sparkle perked up his ears. Bang, bang, bangity bang. He liked that sound. Bang, bang, bangity bang. Sparkle inched toward Cole and the drum. Does Sparkle want to play my drum? Lucy said, I don't think he knows how. But Sparkle tap, tap, tap on the drum with his horn. Tap, 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 tap. Cole played some more. Sparkle, can you dance? Bang, bang, bang. Lucy said, I'm pretty sure that unicorns don't dance. But Sparkle was dancing and jumping like it was the most fun he'd ever had. Lucy said, I'm tired of this. But they kept right on dancing. But right now, she looks mad. Everyone got very still. Then Sparkle picked up the drum and carefully brought it to Lucy. I don't know how to play the drum, said Lucy. It's easy. You hit just like this, said Cole, and he showed her. Hmm, said Lucy, and she tried it. That's the idea, said Cole. That's the idea, said Cole. She tried it again. Sparkle shook his booty to the beat. 
they all took turns dancing and banging on the drum until they were very tired. Finally, it was time for Cole to go home. Sparkle, you are one cool unicorn, said Cole. High five. Sparkle nuzzled Cole and gave him a big wet Later, Lucy and Sparkle shared a cupcake. Cole's a good friend, isn't he, Lucy said. Sparkle nodded. But you are my very best friend. All right, so that's the end of this story. And you guys did a great job. Did you, were you able to sit still the whole time while we read this story? Were you able to listen and keep your ears open and your, eye, and your eyes on the book? That is something that we will try and your teacher in August will work with you very hard on sitting still and listening to read alouds and doing the right thing. And you got to practice that today. Um, I am very proud of you. All right, today parents, we have a tip for kindergarten readiness for you. So some of you may notice that your child holds his or her pencil in a fist grip. Um, and this is something we want to break that habit and get them used to holding the pencil the correct way. So a trick we have for that, a tip, is you can grab a cotton ball, okay, and have them open their hand, place that cotton ball right in the palm, and have them take just their pinky and their ring finger and close it and hold that cotton ball. And then you have three fingers. You're gonna put that pencil in between the thumb, here in the little curve, and have them gra grab it like this, so that they have the thumb, the pointer, and the middle finger on that pencil. And have them practice really holding on tight to that um, cotton ball. This will also have them, uh, give them a firmer grasp on the pencil, which will help with um, fine motor skills and writing. And also, it will help break that fist hold of a utensil. So again, cotton ball, or a pom-pom, if you don't even have one of these, you can get a piece of toilet paper or a paper towel and wad it into a ball in the palm of their hand, their writing hand, close their pinky and their ring finger, place the pencil in the little curve between the pointer and the thumb, and grasp onto to that pencil. And this will hopefully break that habit of the fist grip. So just have them do this um, five to 10 times a day and have them draw whatever they are able to, circles, a picture, their name, um, whatever they can do just to get them in the practice and the habit of using the pencil correctly. I hope this helps you and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Day one for a uh, kickoff to kindergarten camp and you will be completing five pages out of your workbook today. Um, you will need your workbook, a pencil, Crayons if you choose to color the pictures, and a pair of scissors. For today's workbook, you're going to start at the top where the stars are. You're going to put your pencil and you're going to practice tracing over the capital letter A and the lowercase letter A. In the middle section, you're going to use your pencil again and trace the letter A. And then in the space next to it, you'll practice writing the letter A by yourself. The bottom section is um, about the letter sound that A makes, which is A. Ah. Letter A makes the A ah sound. You're gonna color the pictures that begin with A. Ah. You have an astronaut, spider, anchor, apple, globe, and alligator. Sometimes the letter A can say its name and says A. today the first part is about rhyming. Rhyming words are words that sound different at the beginning but the same at the end like tall and ball or log and dog. You're going to color the pictures that rhyme in the first part. You have a cat, lip, and rat. In the next part we're going to work on retelling. We'll listen to the story, match the pictures to the numbers to put the events in order. Then you'll retell the story to someone else. The story is, we went to the zoo today. First, we looked at the lions. Next, we went to the elephant exhibit. 
Finally, we got to see the giraffes. We had so much fun at the zoo. Put your pencil on number one and draw a picture to what they saw first in the story. Then you'll do that for the second item for number two and last for number three. At the bottom, we're gonna work on syllables. Syllables are the chunks or the parts of the word. You're gonna say the word, clap the syllables, and color or circle the correct number. We have a backpack. Let's practice that together. Backpack. How many syllables did you hear? Let's try it again. Backpack. Circle the number for the correct syllables. In number practice, you're gonna start by tracing the number one. At the top, put your pencil at the star and make a straight line down to make the number one. In the middle of the page, we're gonna work on counting. You're gonna count the number of gumballs in the machine for each gumball machine and circle the correct number. How many gumballs are in each machine? At the bottom, we're gonna work on shapes. You're going to look at the shapes and trace with your pencil the two shapes that are the same. Which two shapes are the same? Today's activity for scissor practice, you are going to practice holding your paper and using your scissors correctly, using two thumbs up. Your thumbs should be facing up towards the ceiling when you're cutting, and you're gonna practice cutting on the dotted lines. Last page for today is working on handwriting. You're gonna work on practicing making straight lines, putting your pencil at the star and making a big line down from the star to the bottom. In the middle, you're going to use your pencil to make the bunny follow the trail. Start with your pencil next to the bunny, making a straight line, and then you're going to have your bunny hop over to the landing spot and finish out with a straight line. At the bottom, you're going to draw a line to match the two pictures that are the same.